Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Azodi. Welcome to the video. Today, it's going to be Got7, Not By The Moon. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you here. I've been a K-pop producer for a few years and a songwriter producer for about 15 years. If you want to make your own K-pop requests, support this channel on Patreon. And yeah, let's just get to it. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Let's turn this up. There they are. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh man, straight up those chords. Love them already. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that transition. Those chords sound absolutely great. I love them. Great writing trait that I've heard in these chords is simply to switch the major fifth chord out for a minor seventh equivalent. Trust me, it sounds way more complicated than it actually is. All right, guys, so I wrote this in C major. Pay most attention to the last chord of the progression. That is the major fifth, which is G major. And then when I play the second progression, listen to the last chord as I've swapped out the G major, the fifth, for G minor plus the seventh on top and see what effect and feeling it creates when you listen to it. Really popular writing trait. You hear it a lot in J-pop and sometimes in K-pop. Let's just keep going. Verse one. That bass is heavy. I love it. Oh. Great. The colours are so interesting here. Okay. All right. Cool, so we've moved into the pre-chorus build and the purpose of this section is to get you, the listener, hyped, create a, a great amount of tension and then you get the release or payoff of the chorus and that's what they're doing here. Pre-chorus, let's just keep going. The double time, the chord as well. Nice. Ah, uh, there we go. Cool. We had the payoff the chorus, it sounded really big and it sounded like an incredible sense of weight and depth to the mix. And you know what? It reminds me very much of, oh, what song is it by Stray Kids? Please let me know. It sounds like it has a very familiar writing approach to the chorus and it's almost the same sort of instruments, same sort of vocal melody and maybe JYP are really reining in their writing and you recognize not just the brand JYP but you recognize the songwriting and production of JYP now. Look at that maze. Best two rap now. Mixing it up. That bass is awesome. Yeah. Like a drum and bass. Bass deep. Wow. So definitely the general mood and emotion of the song feels like less seductive and sexy, like you calling my name. It's less it's gonna seduce your girlfriend or boyfriend sort of music. It feels like the emotion has moved back towards the eclipse sort of period. Three chorus two. Oh, they've added some new chords here. But yeah, they've doubled the chords. Oh, wow, yeah. Extra vocals, you're hearing them. Wow. Yep, 
Yo, I got, I got, I can't, I can't contain this. I have to say this. This is a really cool trait that I've only noticed Got Seven to do. When they introduced the first chorus, they held back. And a lot of choruses in K-pop and general pop music, you want everything to happen in the first chorus. But Got Seven, they hold back on the first chorus. And then when it comes around to the repeated second chorus, they definitely introduce more musical elements and vocal elements. And that's really controlled, awesome songwriting. And I think it's a really cool trait that Got Seven songs have, or at least the A-side MV songs have. <laughs> Chords. I love those chords. Energy's brought it down here, yeah? Ooh, new snare. The songwriter producer has brought the energy down for one last time, getting you, the listener, ready for the biggest part. You do not want a song that's just going to be flat. You want it as peaks and troughs. You want it going high and low and up and down because it's more interesting. Let's keep going. Oh no! <laughs> They've stopped the singing! The more I listen to GOT7, I really appreciate the intricate writing traits that they implement in their music, as well as the choreography and fashion. Being able to hold off on the first chorus and then moving into the second chorus, it's very controlled, good songwriting. I know as a songwriter producer myself, it's very hard to do that because you always feel like you need to overcompensate. Well, the chorus. Awesome. That really caught, caught me off. Where are they off to next, eh? I wonder if this is hinting at the next MV. Awesome. That was great. Really enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and if you hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. I just want to say thank you to all my Patreons who support this channel and if you want to make your own K-pop react slash analysis requests, support this channel on Patreon. Thanks so much and I'll catch you at the same time next week, probably.